Member for Parksville Qualicum. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 12,000 people in Oceanside are on a wait list for a family doctor. The lucky ones, they wait up to three years to get connected, but that list is growing longer and longer every day. It's a wait list made up primarily of seniors who have paid into the system their whole lives, and now that they need health care, they can't get it. I regularly meet with people who are trying to get cancer tests, but can't because they don't have a doctor. Met with a woman recently who got a phone call from BC Cancer with her results. Said it's serious, but I can't share them with you because you don't have a family doctor. It took weeks for her to get those results to find out that she had breast cancer that had metastasized. And she had gone through this process more than 20 years before, and it's a direct comparison to the system we have today versus the system before. Working together with our local primary care network, the Division of Family Practice and Island Health, uh, we have identified a location for a primary care centre in Parksville. We have put together a plan, we have a business plan, uh, but Island Health was recently told by the Ministry that there is no capital funding available for new primary care centres in our community. Now, I know the Minister will point to the new Physician Master Agreement, LFP, new spaces at uh, SFU, or new medical school, new spaces, uh, and 700 net new doctors. That's fantastic news. But when my division tours new docs in my community uh, and there is no team-based care for them to work in, these docs do not stay and the system is getting much worse. My question, Mr. Speaker, is it true that the provincial budget that's projecting a nearly $8 billion deficit has no funding for primary care in the city of Parksville? And is the minister suggesting that residents in my community start bottle drives and bake sales if they want to get primary care? Uh, as the member will know, uh, last year, um, we, as a direct result of the work we've done with the doctors of BC, everywhere in BC, added net new 708 family doctors in BC. The place where there's the most family doctors um, is Vancouver Island, the island, in Island Health on Vancouver Island. In fact, Honourable Speaker, the member, the member will know that uh, we saw an increase of 179 doctors on Vancouver Island alone. That's an increase in nine months, in nine months, of 24 percent. You'll also know that we've established in British Columbia primary care networks to support team-based care, Mr. Speaker, and that there are 1,700 FTEs, meaning full-time jobs in that area, doctors and nurses and nurse practitioners and health sciences professionals and health care workers, Honourable Speaker, to build out team-based care. There were none before. There are now 77 in place. There are 1,700 people working in that area. In addition to that, in terms of young doctors, Honourable Speaker, on Vancouver Island, in our new-to-practice contract, 63, Honourable Speaker, new-to-practice nurse practitioners, 68. It's with, by ensuring that there are more doctors in place and supporting those doctors with primary care networks that come from the community, including from Parksville Qualicum that we're addressing these issues that are critical to in ensure family practice in British Columbia, Honourable Speaker. And I appreciate Thank you very much for the question.